The ability to quickly absorb force is an important skill set to drive performance. The more energy that can be absorbed, the more energy that can be applied dynamically whilst on the field. The position of landing firm into the ground with knee and hip bend helps to facilitate the absorption of elastic energy. Think a rubber band being put on a stretch and then released, helping to drive performance. Once you can effectively absorb from the ground, we can increase the difficulty by increasing the height and challenging different force vectors and different directions of movement. Emphasis on hip and knee bend to help dissipate the load helps to drive co-contractions, which increase our joint stability and decrease our joint stress. Isolated exercises addressing the calf Achilles complex will help to increase the loading capacity of these structures and increase the utilisation of stored elastic energy. Exposure to deceleration and the ability to absorb high amounts of load with altering stability demands builds a foundational base for movement variability. This can be progressed to the use of external constraints to make the task even more difficult for the athlete to overcome. It's important that exposure is in multiple vectors, both forward motion, lateral motion, rotational. Yielding isometrics are a great way to learn positions and shapes. The benefits being increasing the number of muscle fibres that fire and increase the rate at which each of these fibres fire, therefore increasing our muscular tension in these positions. The challenge in different positions through use of bands and dynamic movement helps again to expose the athlete to multiple different movements. It's important to be able to make the transition from static postural positions to dynamic movement. That way we can transfer our movement over onto the field. Again, exposure in multi-directions to get the most out of the performance is crucial and necessary to mitigate risk of injury.